year-old Timmy Turner was reading his new Crimson Chin comic book when he realized... <laughs> the Crimson Chin was in trouble! The Chin had been strapped to a giant mechanical knee by his knee-themed nemesis! The Bronze Kneecap! and was about to have his reflexes majorly tested by a 60-foot radioactive doctor robot. The chin looked like a goner. With time running out, Timmy did what any normal ten-year-old boy would do. He turned to his fairies for help. They used their magic to make Timmy vanish! And reappear in the comic book as... Cleft the Boy Chin Wonder! Cleft quickly fired several chinarangs from his utility cleft. Cutting the chin free in the nick of time! Timmy's use of his utility cleft may have saved the chin. But the reflex caused the giant leg to kick a giant soccer ball towards Chinsonetti City Hall. There was only one thing to do. Well, two things, actually. I'll take care of the soccer ball, said Timmy. Which leaves the bronze kneecap to me, replied the chin. Go, Chintastic Duo, go! <laughs> Cleft, the boy Chin Wonder used his utility cleft to produce a giant head of Pele, the world's greatest soccer player. <laughs> Headbutting the soccer ball back from whence it came. Meanwhile, in the next panel, the bronze kneecap had nearly defeated the Crimson Chin. When suddenly... <laughs> Cleft's quick thinking gave the chin the perfect opportunity to send the bronze kneecap right into the Chinsonetti jail. <laughs> that was easy, said Timmy. Almost too easy, thought the chin. What's this? A public domain scream for help? Tune in next time for another exciting webisode of... <laughs> the Crimson Chin and Clap the Boy Chin Wonder! <laughs> Ten-year-old Timmy Turner...